end with high school basketball as the Bismarck Demon boys look to make it six straight wins. And it would in their way would be the Turtle Mountain Braves. So we go to the opening moments of the game. Quick pass to Braves. Derek Frederick getting the neat up and under lay in. And the assist coming from Tristan Davis to get the Braves on the board. But here come the Demons, the hottest team in the WDA, showing why that's the case with the steal. And lay in on the other end from Trace and Eaglestaff. Bismarck gets their win streak to 7, 83-69 the final. How would the girls do against Turtle Mountain Bravettes? Looking for their first win on the season. And they would play well early. Amy Gourneau, one-on-one, -on -one, sees the space, hits the high arcing three. Turtle Mountain on the board. But the Demons picking up the pace off the rebound pass ahead to Maya Holdsworth with the Hezzy and the lay-in on the fast break. However, it'd be the Demons, all for Demons from there, 76-45 the final. Moving across the Missouri River to Mandan and Watford City, ready for a clash. The Wolves attacking first. Jaheim Peterson using the strength, drives inside, gets the tough lay-in to go. But Mandan would attack from everywhere. A nice find by Elijah Klein to Jace Lohman, who rattles the three. Mandan stays hot. 99-44 the win. And for the girls, the same matchup as the boys with Watford City in town. Mandan with a quick pass ahead. But how about the defense from Ashley Holen? The block leads to a Watford City possession. The Braves would have some answers after that. Nice leak out by Lakin Darris. Wide open for the mid-range jumper. Braves extending their lead, and they end up getting the win 72-63. How about Minot taking on Williston up in the Magic City? First quarter action. Minot has a drive and a kick to Lauren McLean, who knocks down the jumper. And then the Majets again with Allie Nelson taking the pass and laying it up off the glass. And after a 4 0 start, Wilson's Brooklyn Douglas breaks up the party and hits a jumper. But it's Minot who gets the home win 76 61. To Class B are our Redeemers playing host to West Hope Newburgh. First quarter nights, Landon Lang passing it to Tanner Swenson, who knocks down the jumper in the corner. West Hope Newburgh, though, answering back with Anthony Tabarez against the offensive board and hits the jumper. But off the pass from Lang, Colton Francis hitting it from downtown. The boys cruise to a win. However, on the girls' side, West Hope takes it 63 60.